Hello, hello, hello. Count Sake here, back with another Minecraft video. I know I've been uploading stuff like Geometry Dash and Minecraft a lot lately, but I believe that's the things that you guys really like. Skype. <laughs> oh boy, we had a bit of, the, of a Skype problem on the 3x3 Ascending Door tutorial, didn't we? Um, but okay, anyway. What's a little coincidental is that here is a 2x2 ascending door. It's the current smallest. Um, this could actually be 1x1 one one if you really wanted to. And I'll be going and explaining how it works. So, um, here's the closing. Pretty simple. And there's the opening. As you can see, it only opens from the bottom and it has its storage on the top. That's what makes it an ascending door. Yep. And Here's a fun useless fact. Hold on, let me just build something out. Okay, here's the funny useless fact. Um, let me put the lever on this side so you can see. Uh, oh, m my bad. <laughs> uh, hold up. There you go. Here's the funny useless fact. As you can see... There you go. As you can see, it's actually expandable in thickness, as you can see. Uh, how many times am I going to say as you can see? Okay, anyway. So, yeah. It can open up, it's just that I also forgot to add something, and that is this bottom pistons. Yes, these bottom sticky pistons. There you go. Now you got a door that should work. There you go. I'm sorry about the little thing, but yeah, this that's how it pretty much is. It's expandable in a very funny way. Uh, it's a useless expandable way, but... I'll take it. <laughs> okay, so let's actually get into the dimensions of this thing. So it is 10 long by 11 tall, and its volume is 100, yeah, 110 blocks. Let me get into the tutorial because that's probably what you might be here for. So here, from the door frame, what you're going to want to do for the setup is place two more blocks of your door blocks because these are going to be visible and. And two sticky piston, normal piston, two rows of two normal pistons, like so. I'll try to take this tutorial slow. I have a bad habit of actually going a little too fast. Okay, so on the bottom, what you're gonna want to do is place two rows of two sticky pistons facing upward. And that's how the setup of this, that's pretty much it. Okay, so now let's get into the closing of this thing. It was actually very simple to come up with, so what you're gonna do is place blocks like so, um, then place two of these, like so, and then place a sticky piston next to this top piston, next to this top normal piston, diagonal from this block here. Oh, this is gonna be your input by the way. And here you place a normal block, you can't, it has to be solid block, on this yeah like so uh i kind of don't remember how to build this a little too much okay um then just do the same thing on the other side uh on the now for the cayenne circuit what you're gonna want to do is place um i'm sorry i kind of i should have taken the time to build, rebuild it so yeah this is what you're gonna want to do then place uh, I think four tick and three tick, I believe it was. Yep, and a torch on each side, like so. Uh, oh yes. Uh, oh, I should probably flick this. There you go. Flick that. You should have closing. Um, what you're going to want to do is get out a cauldron. Uh, Put a sticky piston facing upwards like there with a cauldron and do the same thing on the other side. And be sure to get 
bucket or two place them with water. And I'm going to take those out and uh, so so now what you're going to want to do is place blocks a block right there and a block right and a block right there with a comparator. It should be on, and then you place a block like so with a redstone block. Uh, redstone, yeah. Then you're going to want to do is place a, no a sticky piston facing downward with a redstone block. A mm, place a block like so. <laughs> Sorry. And then what you're going to do is place a normal piston facing upward. Uh, you might note recognize this. It's a little thing to like that. Yeah. And okay, I'll do a little explaining of it. Uh, no, I won't. Now I won't do it right now. Okay, so then to finish off the door, what you need to do is place blocks like so. Uh, place and blocks like this. There has to be an updater piston right there. Um, yeah, like that. And then place a normal sticky piston like so. Yep. And that should be. The, yep, that's the double. Now you just need to copy that side over. So I'm gonna build it a little quickly. So yeah. There goes my Skype again. Uh, BRB. Oh, hold up. Just BRB. Okay, I'm um, back. Uh, so yeah, the door should be working right now. Except that I forgot a little something right here that was very important. Like that. Now, let me explain this. So I'm gonna actually... <laughs> go build again. Okay, as of right now, I am on the Synergy server. Um, oh, I forgot to mention that I did build this with someone named Oya. Uh, I'm so sorry. Um, well, he... I first made the original door, but it, the thing is that he uses a torch burnout, so it was kind of, yeah, annoying. So, anyway, um, go back. Um, yeah. So, I tried to make it without the torch burnout, and uh, Oya was lucky enough to act, was was nice enough to actually find find it too, help me find it up. So now we have our little circuit here to do double. Okay, so now let me explain the closing. I can explain it just right here. So, when I flick this lever, the first thing that happens is that. These, these pistons extend, then these redstone stuff power. Yeah, those are the first two steps. The next thing that happens is that since this is getting power, this block is getting powered by this redstone, it, this piston is getting updated, and this piston right next to it updates it. Uh, yeah. Welcome back. Um... What's gonna so what it should do is that it would still extend. So now, um, once all this stuff has extended, it should it would look like this. Um, I'm not gonna power these yet, but uh, what next is gonna happen is once these things, these get updated, this block moves over here. So you can see one thing that also happens is this. So what happens is it goes down, uh, and what happens is that since this torch, this torch powers this block, block which powers the normal piston right next to it. Same thing right here. So yeah. So that's how it. Let's just see it in action. There you go. That's how it works. Now time to explain what the heck is all of this but before I explain that I have to explain the double extension at the bottom so I'm just need to go 
it quickly, and hopefully Skype sounds won't spam. <laughs> as much as they already have been. Uh, so yeah, let me just build this out really quickly and... Okay, so here's our little circuit for the double. Let me get something ready. So, um, I'm gonna do this. So... Let's do that. So, um, if you one tick, if you give this circuit a one tick pulse, it does the double extension. But if you do another, give it another one tick pulse, it does the retraction, which is a very nice thing. Um, it could work with this, but um, in this case, we actually had to use the. We weren't able to use a two tick. I'm pretty sure it does not work. Yeah, it does not work. It ends up being too quickly, so you not then so you have to have at least a three tick in this door for in, for instance. So yeah, that's how the double works. Now let's get explaining into this. Um, I'll leave this here, but I'm just gonna take out that block. So um, I'm gonna get into explain to explain a little circuit thing. So now let's power this. Okay, look, pay attention to this. Um, I'll actually show you this little thing right, right down here. Um, if you power this, excuse me, my bad, that was my fault. If you power it, as you notice, it gives out a one tick pulse. But if you unpower it, it also give it's a it's pretty much a dual edge. It powers on both, on both. So, but if you do it without this little side here, it's only gonna pop update. Er it's gonna only do a one tick pulse every other tick. So that's why you need this little part. There. So what is happening? Um, first thing that happens is that whether okay, let's start with an extension. When this extends, this retracts, but right a little bit right after this ret retracts, maybe almost at exactly the same time, this is not this redstone block is being slowly pushed down, and so then this pulls up, but then very quickly right back again. Oh, my bad. Uh, a go. This redstone block is pushed into the position of this right there. So yeah, let's take a look at that. Okay, now to explain the retraction. So let me power this. Uh, yeah. So what ne what happens next is that this pulls up. Um, it doesn't need th this is not needed in when it retracts. Um, it's only to update it when you power it. So what happens is that this moves up. It's not yet in a position, so it still cannot power this piston. So, but since um, let me show you something. Why don't I show you something here? Let me show you something. Okay, now. So let's do that. If you notice. I will unpower that. It it retracts. So so um what's the what's the whole meaning of this? So what's the meaning of this is that since this block moves up, it updates this piston too, so then it pulls up. But and then once it goes into this position, this will extend again. So that's how this whole entire thing works. It's kind of no, it's not too complicated, but it still is, yeah, quite a bit to explain. So now let's explain this little part here. Uh, so like I mentioned earlier, you need to give this little circuit right here two pulses. But you cannot fire them too, too quickly or else, as you can see, it's not doing 
it's retraction and extension. But we want a, an, extension, an extension, then a retraction. This is what this little repeaters and stuff does. So, um, when you power this lever, you might notice that this tor torch turns off, and this thing powers it again. What is happening is that this is being powered. Um, that did not happen. But it was still powered. Um, but then, what is happens is that when this, when you turn off the lever, this will retract, meaning that this will no longer be powered, and then it will retract this cauldron, giving out the first. Give it, and remember, it also works on retraction, so it'll still be able to give out a one take pulse. There you go. So it will do the extension first. Then about a couple more about this many more ticks later, plus this one, this tur redstone turns on. So then it powers again, doing the retraction. Okay, so um, that's how pretty much this whole entire door works. So oh lag. Why well, don't I actually did not explain th this little double extension too well? Because all I just said. You needed to power two times to actually do make it do something. But I didn't explain how it actually works. Um, what it actually does, how this works is that when you power this, the first thing that happens is that this power, this normal piston gets powered. But then, since this, this is going to update this sticky piston, what's going to happen is that it's going to extend. Although since it's a one tick pulse, it's gonna stay extend. It's gonna stay extended. It's gonna you're gonna throw out this block like like so. But then the next thing that happens after a, these three ticks is gonna power this, and then it retracts. On and then when you give it another one tick pulse, it does the same thing. Since that this is a two, three tick pulse, it won't add and automatically power this and then and won't do this. What will happen is that once again, this gets me. If I can do it right, this gets a one tick pulse, this retracts, then this gets powered and retracts. That's how it works. And that's basically how the whole entire door works. Uh, yeah. Well, I hope you guys like this video. So, um, I hope you guys also like this door. So, um, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed.